in FijiCam 2012, users now have the option to create back or reverse boring operations. In this example, you can see we have a part that is predominantly 2.5D. However, if I rotate the part over, you'll notice that we have two recesses on the underside of these holes. In previous versions of FijiCam, we would have to machine these from a separate setup. However, with the new back boring option, I can now machine these holes directly from this single setup. First thing we're going to do is just have a look at the 3D simulation to see what we have. And in this case you can see we have a series of bosses, side operations, some slots, pockets, holes and chamfers. So what we want to do is we want to machine these two hole regions in here. So to do this I'm going to use interactive feature recognition. I'm going to select a new feature wizard and extract with feature recognition the holes. I'm simply going to select these two holes here and say finish. Now by default FeatureCam has created two plain holes so I need to go in and tell FeatureCam that these are back boring holes. We can do this from the type. You'll notice the new backbore hole operation appears at the bottom of the list. Once I've selected that, I can then choose the dimensions of my hole. In this case, the first one is 14 with an 18 bore diameter. And I can interactively choose the depth of the hole based on my solid. I can repeat this process for the second hole, again changing from a plain hole to a back ball and indicating the dimensions, this time 21 and 25, and again the same depth of 20 millimeters. I've now created my two back boring operations. I can run a 3D simulation, but so that we can see through this hole, I'm going to just change the stock and I'm going to use a different stock curve in this case, a curve that splits our stock. I can now run a full 3D simulation. And we can see the effect of the back bore inside the part. If your post processor supports it, you can actually choose the cycle type. Going into the backbore operation, into the cycle, you'll notice we have a G87 backboring cycle. We can enter a dwell and an X or Y shift. And we can then verify that in the results window. If I go to the NC code, search for G87. In this case, this is a Haas post using FANUC type code, and you'll notice we get the G87 for our whole operation. So for hole 3 and for hole 4, we can see G87 being inserted for the backboring cycle. 